Yo, what's good? It's your boy Holy. You already know what it is. Uh, I slept for the first time since Weathering Waves came out yesterday. And while I was sleeping for the first time, Kuro Games decided to drop probably the most exciting news that I've seen so far, opposed aside from us getting our free five-star characters and all this stuff. They actually dropped a tweet confirming that they will be fixing a lot of the issues. They've seen our feedback. They know what we want and they're gonna give it to us. Now, I, I, I'm, I would say, you know, this is a standard practice. This is something that, you know, most games do. A lot of these games don't give a shit, bro. So for, for them to be doing this and for them to be doing this so effectively and quickly, really addressing our concerns up front publicly, they, they are letting us know that they see it, they know that it is an issue and they're going to do something about it. Uh, a lot of games have not been doing this and uh don't do this even if they are fixing it they don't they don't let you know up front i think that's a big the communication piece between the development team and their player base is really the heart of the game bro like the the players need to know something is happening even if it hasn't happened yet we see you we know what's going on here's what we're doing about it here's when you could expect it potentially that is all that people need bro is just knowing regardless of if it's fixed or not the, the peace of mind to know that they care enough to actually do it is huge. I'm gonna go ahead and, and read this off. Uh, since the official launch of Weather and Waves, we've had a lot of valuable feedback and suggestions. Uh, we are genuinely grateful for your attention and support. We apologize for the deficiencies and issues present. We understand this has affected your gaming experience and we're working to improve it for those who love the game. This is great. <laughs> this is great. We've been working on optimizations and iterations for the current 1.0 version and the development of subsequent version updates is also underway. We will address some of the most discussed and concerned issues. Now, if you guys have seen my last couple of videos, there were a few things that I spoke about myself that I felt like needed to change that I have also seen a lot of other people speaking on. So we'll, we'll click this and get into some of the changes that they have that they're, that they're making to the game and how they're compensating us for those issues, which Again, I, bro, they're doing a phenomenal job. So uh, clap it up. Wow. Clap it up for uh, for Kiro Games. This is the reason why even before Wuthering Waves came out, PGR, if you guys have ever been in my live stream or ever talked to me about gacha gaming, I always bring up PGR. It was one of my favorite gacha games. Like it, it was, bro. All right, so let's see what we got here. So this was this was a tweet. So the the first issue that they've addressed. Oh, we get some music with it. Hold on. I wasn't expecting to get the. Hold on, y'all. All right, real quick. <laughs> While we're vibing to the music, I do want to say, do y'all like the new the new rug in the background? What y'all think of that back there? I'm I'm gonna show it to y'all real quick. What y'all think? All right, I do want to say there is one character on this thing who I have zero idea who it is. Uh, first comment that lets me know who <clears throat> who this is wins Blue Knight subscription. All right, so it's uh let me let me get it up there. Oh yeah, come on. who's who's the real anime heads in here? Who's this girl, bro? Can anybody can anybody tell me who this is? It's hard it's hard for me to get her on. Let me get her closer. Hold up. Who's that? Who's damn? Who's that? Who's that girl right here? The first, the first person to tell me gets it. Let's go ahead and get into uh, the changes that they're making to the game. So we got a uh, Echo development experience. These are this is something that I talked about in my last video. If you haven't seen it, I went over all the XP rates for the new level forty stuff. That uh, you know, once you hit Union level forty, how much XP do you get at each area? If that's a video you're interested in. Uh, you haven't seen it yet you know feel free to go check that out um echo development feels grindy and inadequate energy materials we are aware of the common concern that the current echo leveling experience feels too grindy and the game lacks a wave plate storage system we have confirmed and will implement the following adjustments while we are internally working on solutions to address other common concerns in, in the current version we will launch bro so this is this is nuts because not only are they talking about what they're going to do right now they're talking about what they're going to do in the future. Y'all can't tell, like, in, in, bro, like, this is great. So we have what we expect short term and then the long term fix. Devs do not do this, bro. These devs of these games do not do this. This is great, man. We will launch a limited time 
echo material double yield event cord cleansing so we get it we're gonna get an event that's gonna give us double echoes we will adjust the progression system to reduce the shell cost so you will have to use more money or less money i'm sorry to level up your echoes which is great they're gonna remove the reward cutscene to the tacit field i guess that you know after you finish off a tacit field and it like puts your character in a cutscene where it like shows the the reward appearing I don't really think that's like a, a crazy big deal. It lasts like three seconds, but I mean, I guess some people complained about it. I don't, I don't see why it's necessary when the world bosses don't have it. You don't get, you don't get that cutscene when you kill a boss. You know, it's, I guess it's a, it's a small uh, quality of life fix. And from version 1.1 forward, we are actually going to get more XP. They're going, they're going to increase how much XP we get from tacit fields that's actually great um in upcoming updates we will introduce the wave plate storage system so i guess kind of like if you aren't able to play for a day uh and you have 240 let's say you're at 200 you'd be able to con like condense that like quickly so you can go do whatever you got to do for the rest of the day come back the next day and use that later on which is actually really nice so the next one well, let's 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 talk about this one a little bit longer bro so th i'd say this one is probably the biggest concern that i've heard it was just gl i'm glad they addressed it first uh this is probably the biggest concern that i've heard across all of it is like not enough echo xp i can't level up my echoes and i was kind of in between on it i know i've seen people on both sides like oh this is how it's supposed to be you don't want to get the end game materials now and then the people that are like yeah but i can only level up one echo a day i can see both sides okay a lot of times in games like this, the actual in-game content is the artifacts, the rooms, the the uh, echoes, whatever it is that gives you your bonus stats, right? On your character, your crit rate, crit damage, HP, attack. That's the in-game content of a lot of these games is getting that. So since that what that's what Wuthering Waves is, once you finish the story, once you finish world exploration, once you finish whatever you got going on, the echoes is the game that is the game now right you're you're gonna be farming echoes and trying to level them up if all you can do every day is level up one or two of them and they don't really roll that well it's what I, I, and again this is why i understand both sides on the one hand it's like okay because you didn't get what you wanted and you got bad rolls you'll be there again tomorrow to continue playing if they gave you everything and you and you finished leveling up all your characters in two days you will not play the game it makes sense for them to limit this reward but at the same time the rates on the on the rolls to actually get good rolls are, are low enough i think it offsets the need to not give enough rewards to roll a few of them a day as opposed to just one or two uh, so i do see both sides of this and i i am glad that they are fixing it i do think that it was a problem i don't think even though i understand you know you want to limit the end game materials i think it was too limited i think that's where uh this argument kind of dies off it, it was too limited if you can only level up one like a couple a day that's not good it's not good design so the fact they're fixing it is is phenomenal but let's move on to the to the second one uh regarding our handling of the reward system error when recycling develop echoes now i haven't run into this issue i don't know what this issue was but they said on may 29th we were notified of an issue where where the amount of shell, shell credits players obtained when recycling developed echoes was wrong since this is an issue that directly impacts games balance we fix this problem through an emergency live update on the same night and issue compensation i remember getting that compensation they cooked up they gave me like five hundred thousand shells or, so, or six hundred thousand or something that was nice so they informed the players of the situation and announced we would remove all additional shell credits obtained unexpectedly as a result within 14 days and issue compensation due to the urgency we failed to issue an announcement of this issue in the first instance which caused a negative experience for our players we sincerely apologize for our improper way of handling the situation and inconvenience caused following an internal discussion we have decided to compensate all players based on the max that had been unexpectedly yielded through this bug to address the negative impact cause we will round up to the nearest whole number and provide extra compensation to all players so I'm trying to figure out, like, after reading this, what's really happening here, uh, because what it sounds like is they had a bug, they didn't tell people about the bug, they fixed the bug, then they told people about the bug, and people got mad about that. I, I think it's pretty good dev practice to not 
talk about bugs until it's fixed sometimes um unless it's gonna make your game break now if you're just getting some more currency or something i don't really feel like that's a reason like you you need to let people know about this because when, when people know something exists they're gonna do it um there are a couple of other bugs going around right now as, as there will be the game's been out a week is there's, there's still a lot of things that need to be fixed there's still a lot of other bugs going around right now that that are considered game breaking bugs that uh they're, they will have to work on i'm not going to talk about them in this video because it's like you know you don't want to you don't want to tell people about bugs that are happening i know people are having issues with their loot mapper breaking right now so you know be careful with your loot mapper i don't know if they fix that yet but there, there are a lot of things out there in the first week of these games that they will have to fix over time and we will be seeing compensation for so I, I don't think they did anything wrong here um i don't think that they need to tell people about bugs right away especially if it's gonna be like kind of a, of a cheating type type of bug if they were getting a lot of a lot more shell credits than they were supposed to when they did certain things they went ahead and fixed it gave everybody compensation and then didn't say anything about it i i don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that i don't see nothing wrong with that okay um so the next thing okay so they're giving us uh, a million shell credits they're giving us a lot of money for that we apologize for the hasty way we handled the issue and inappropriate wording in our announcements i don't i don't think they needed to apologize but they're giving us <laughs> You know what maybe they did need to apologize maybe i'm wrong they're giving they're giving us 20 crystal solvents which equates to about 1200 uh wave plates that's kind of nutty bro that's actually like that's 9,000 union level xp that's that's basically an entire level they're giving they're giving an entire level's worth of union level xp which is crazy that is nice that's super nice so guys i'll be hitting union level 43 or 44 today so make sure y'all come through this make sure y'all come through the stream you know what i mean come say what's up uh i had a lot of people come through and, and claim their uh claim their pickle rick kiss yesterday so you know what i mean offers are still on the table so yeah we're getting a lot of xp for that that's crazy man just because they just because they forgot to tell us and they didn't need to so there was an error with the five star weapon description i heard about that for geon's weapon they're giving us five forging tides for that five summons that's nice i don't think the issue affected a lot of us on this side good yeah, i mean i enjoy free stuff so thanks not really that as important i think then on version events we have received extensive feedback on the duration and rewards of the Overdash Club. Now, I want to talk about the event before I read the rest of this because I haven't, I haven't, I'm reading this for the first time with y'all. This event, while it does feel a bit underwhelming, right, uh, as an announced event, I think it's a, it's a cool little starter event. Um, they're giving pretty decent rewards for something so simple. All you're doing is running a running around the map, the map, just like picking up coins. It's like a little Sonic event or something. It's a I don't think it was supposed to be a crazy event. We're getting decent rewards. And then like, if you've seen PGR events, I feel like Kuro Games has stuff cooking and we'll likely get some pretty good events later on in the future. I don't think you can be mad at free stuff. To address your concerns, we are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward schemes for upcoming events. The immediate solutions are as below. I was expecting more from Overdash Club. I thought it was gonna be a little harder than it was. I thought it was gonna be like an actual race thing where like maybe they had other people's times up there and you had to try to be like the fastest person uh and then like the people that were higher up would get xyz rewards i didn't know it was just going to be like a like a open world puzzle where you have to just collect some coins real quick and you're done like no none of these have taken me less than 30 seconds and i have i have not struggled to get the 1000 score but again i you know you guys do have to remember some of this stuff is made for people on mobile i i have to remind myself that sometimes like this is a mobile game so they can't make everything disgustingly crazily difficult all the time because you know people on mobile have to do it while i would like them to add some content into the game that you know would be seen as extremely challenging and the mobile players would just have to figure that out you know i do have to remember that they exist too and you know it will be a little bit harder sometimes for people on mobile to do stuff now if they, once they add controller once they add you guys to use controllers on mobile then it's up then it's fair fair game i think so we'll see what happens they're going to improve they're going to introduce a new event to offer new rewards and content um it's starting on june 13th they're giving 800 asteroids two echoes holy shit premium tuner and premium seal 2 which is the echo experience uh which is great they're giving us more echo experience 
Moving forward, we shall ensure we make greater collective endeavors internally in designing the version events to improve in the event content quality and reward for your better experience. This is great. Holy shit, they've got a lot of updates here. Um, no, I, I think this is good. I think this shows that, you know, for as far as the events go, they're going to be cooking up for us, giving us some pretty, pretty solid events in the future. And I'm excited to see, you know, what's coming there. Hopefully, since it's called a weathering exploration, it's going to be an event based off of the percentage of your map. So that way, like when I sign in, I'm already done with the event and I can just claim my rewards and call it a day. And hopefully they let me 100% wooming bay during this event. Hopefully this, hopefully this, they put some some new chests in these areas so I can go ahead and go pick those up and 100% my maps. Future versions update timeline. So that people are talking about a roadmap here. Uh, I know PGR had a pretty extensive roadmap. So we'll, we'll see what they got to say about this one. Uh, we've, re we've received extensive feedback regarding the storyline, localization, other various aspects. To allow everyone early access to experience more content, we've decided to advance the release of subsequent content. So they're releasing Yinlin's path early. Oh shit, and, and her, oh. They're releasing Yinlin early. What do, how do y'all feel about that? Y'all feel? So does that mean she's gonna double banner with? Yeah, she's gonna be double bannering up there with Jin, with Gian. How do y'all feel about that, bro? I feel like there's enough time for y'all to get to prepare or what? I don't know if I'm pulling for her yet. I might. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, to compensate for any inconvenience caused by this version timing adjustment, we will issue the compensate. Oh, they're giving us. Okay, so since they're changing the time, they're giving us ten summons on the banner. That's lit. And you know, by the time the banner's over, we probably getting at least forty more summons because of bugs. So. You know, we might be guaranteed, <laughs> we might be guaranteed a pity by the time she actually leaves the banner, y'all. Hey, let's go. I'm, I'm, I might be rocking with this change now. This is nice. And here we go. The combat. Combat optimization. Number one, auto aiming and auto lock on camera performance. It must have hurt me, y'all. I must have been loud. Was I loud? We going I think combat is near perfect. I love it. I haven't been, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Cause I remember now, cause I remember what pissed me off. Yup. Yup. I remember what pissed me off. The lock on. I almost forgot about it. I almost forgot. Locking on in this game kind of dropped the rating. Dropped the rating. Uh, in the recent updates, we have disabled the combat correct feature on PC by default. We have also optimized the default values and ranges for combat camera settings. So they've optimized it. I'll probably go try some of these bosses. Oh, this is in the recent update. So is this already like, oh, it is fake. I, I went and fought the uh, Morning Ikes and my camera did a lot better. There were still some issues here and there, but the camera I will say was a lot better than it has been in the past. So I do think they have already started implementing some of these changes, but there, I think there's still a little bit more work to be done. I will say it is a lot better than it was though. Um, so bosses existing combat state unexpectedly. Um, I think they meant exiting. I think they meant exiting, right? So yeah, certain bosses, when they would get a certain distance away from you, like you had the, the heron when it does its attack where it jumps, you know what I'm talking about? It jumps back on your ass and starts sucking you up and it takes you back to wherever it jumped back to. No, that's good. They're gonna they're gonna make it so that even when they jump back like that, you'll still be locked on. They're gonna they're gonna introduce a disengagement warning feature. I don't know what that means. Hopefully, it's not something that interrupts gameplay though. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not what they're talking about. Wait, no, that's not what they're talking about. Uh, I think this is for like when you have when you're fighting one of the bosses in the open world. You get to a certain area while you're fighting, and the boss gets knocked out of that area. And then you start seeing that motherfucker walk back. He starts to walk back to the center where he spawns in at, and then he's full HP again. I think that's what this is talking about. And then and then you got to fight that bitch all over again. I can't tell which one this is talking about. It's, it's one of the two, right? It's got to be one of the two. But those are both issues. I'm just saying. So even if they're fixing one of them, you know, maybe the other one, once the, once they implement it, we can figure out which one they did. And then we can we can talk about the other one. They're both issues though. Uh, anti ghost touch area around buttons. Ghost touch issues on mobile. Nobody's playing this game on mobile for real, right? Uh, future versions will include further optimization for mobile controls. Yeah, I think the I think this one is probably making it tough to just fight anything. If you touch one button and you attack instead of instead of dodge, then that could be a big issue. So I'm glad they're fixing that. Uh, delayed availability of custom key binding feature. 
that's gonna be cool uh, i don't think there, there should have been a uh a cap on this anyway but i'm pretty sure you literally get union level two as soon as you log in uh but yeah this this shouldn't even have been coded with a cap that's interesting they're gonna they're gonna give a tutorial for key binding that's nice controller mode experience optimization um okay they're gonna change open chat to open map i think they should make this a little bit more cus customizable like if you want to if you want your shortcut to be this then you should be able to put that in there i feel like right what what do you want your shortcut keys to be because everybody's going to be different i don't think they just got to remap it for everybody but however they want to do it i mean i don't play on controller so it doesn't doesn't affect me Four game feel design and impact significant signification signif um in future versions will constantly improve the event signification how why can i not say this right now it's too fucking early for this man game feel designed for characters and monsters enhancing the overall combat experience uh on other content no purchase limits on store items like flower leading to accidental purchases bro i actually saw this reddit post day one okay somebody maxed out the amount of flour that they wanted to buy and they had like 900 flour which cost them cost them like all of their it cost them all their money to buy it i can't remember i think like flour i can't remember how much flour was but they spent like nine hundred thousand on flour i saw that post that shit is actually hilarious that they that they specified flour um audio and sound effect bugs i've run into this a couple times happened a lot when i went into the forgery dungeon where I would, like the audio would be in and out. So they're gonna be fixing audio better than Apex already. Apex is such a big game. When's Apex gonna make that change? Performance issues, crashes, instability, depths of elusive realm. I love de depths of elusive realm. So they're actually gonna let people use more play uh, playable characters, new mechanics, new buffs, new challenges. This is gonna be great. This is my favorite, uh, my favorite game mode in the game right now. So I'm glad they're gonna be making some updates to this. And uh, they recognize that there's still many issues and they're gonna be fixing them. They are doing their damn thing, y'all. Nah, bit, like realistically, man, huge respect to Kiro Games and, and, the, and the dev team for this. Much appreciation. I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna continue to show love to the game. I, I'm enjoying it nonstop. Like I said, there will be more and more videos coming out about the game. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all like, subscribe to the video if y'all enjoyed. Um, let me know what y'all think about the changes in the comments. I think they're great, and I I really do appreciate the communication on on these issues, even if some of them aren't being fixed immediately. The fact that you're letting us know that you know about them and that you're working on them is really like the biggest thing. So it's it's just the communication piece, man. We just need to know. So much love again. Thanks for watching. Uh, Y'all have a fantastic rest of your day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And it's been your boy Holy. It's like always, man. I'm out this bitch.